welcome to another episode of Sanction Export. Uh, I just watched the United v Arsenal game. Uh, high hopes for that game. I thought Arsenal came into the game on really good form, to be honest. Obviously, everyone knows how I feel about Arsenal. So, but um, also Manchester United. Well, we'll, we'll, first, we'll talk about my United first. I can bet anyone who comments in the comment section after this, I will give them a hundred pound if Man United win the league because they are not going to win the league and I haven't thought that this whole time this season. Yeah, they were top, but they have they have great players. Like some of them are world class. They have one of the best teams in the league, but there's one big problem. And it's their manager. He is just not good enough. He will I don't know what style of play they play. I don't know. Uh, he uh, he couldn't even gear I don't think he'd gear anyone up in the changing room like if you, when you're when you're losing I don't think he's really someone you look to and go for inspiration uh, I think it's just he won't get them over the line if he's going like toe to toe with a Klopp a Marino an Ancelotti or obviously he's going to go head to head with Pep I don't think he's going to get them over the line they're serial winners they know how to win they've been winning their entire lives and he's not new to a management job I don't think he ever should have got the job it I just don't. I think they've got a great team. They've got a great team with some guidance. They could actually probably smash the league. And I think he's just not. I just think he's the right guy for him. Um, with like watching today, they were awful. I thought they were absolutely poor. Not good enough at all. But I will give it to them. What they have done, which are a championship winning team, is they scrape results, which is obviously a great thing you can do. But it's just the way that they've scraped them. It's not like they've looked in control of every game. Like. This sort of recent dip, like when they lost to Sheffield United, I wasn't surprised, and they're dead bottom of the league. So, well, moving on, we'll go to Arsenal. Um, Arsenal, one of the probably the worst start that they've ever had to a Premier League ever, which slightly made me happy. But they had, oh my god, that guy's turned it around. They, looking back about a month ago, they're a team everyone wants to play. Like they, they looked awful. They looked lethargic. They. They didn't look like a team. They didn't like art. They didn't look like Arsenal at all. Now I don't want to play them. I don't think Man United want to play them. I don't think anyone wants to play them. They're going to be. They're a hard team to beat now. They are on a run of a run of form. I know they had like an easy patch of games, but they look decent. They look, they look like a team. They look like he's got them playing a way they want to play. And he was under the cosh. Like oh my god, I thought he was goners, but he has massively turned that around. So respect to Arteta and to Arsenal. So I uh, yeah. I think they're going to they're keep on winning. They, I wouldn't say they'd get top four, but they'll be in and around it, easy. But, um, yeah, if they didn't have such that rocky start, which was surprising on the back of last year, and they won the charity shield at the beginning of the season, which was a, a good start to the season, so I'm quite surprised. Obviously, today's game was dull. I think it only really sparked up in the last 10 minutes, but unfortunately... It wasn't a good enough game, to be honest. But I'm not surprised. I actually thought Arsenal might have won So at the beginning of the game. But yeah, that's me. Um, that's another episode of Sanctuary Sport, guys. Remember to please subscribe and follow because it definitely means a lot to both of us. Thank you. Thank you.